So the last area I want to look at is, well, before we break, is when you've got continuous data, but you've got three or more groups, and you want to compare them all at once. So, so far we've only looked at the t-test, which is comparing two groups, but if you've got more than three or more groups, probably a sensible hypothesis to consider is that all your groups are equal, and you try and disprove that and show that, no, in fact, not all the groups are, are equal. A way that's of doing that that's been around for over, well, probably about 100 years now, is something called analysis of variance, and it's usually sort of abbreviated as ANOVA and talked about as ANOVA. So that's suitable for normal data. One thing to note is whereas with the t-test, it's capable of using different measures of variability for the, the different groups, and ANOVA generally uses a pooled standard deviation or standard error for the different um, groups it's comparing. It will be too difficult for it to manage different variability for each of the groups. And uh, another test we'll look at, w another one with an odd name after two people, the kruskal wallis test, and that's the equivalent of ANOVA, but for non-normal data. So that's another example of a non-parametric test, whereas ANOVA is um, another example, just like the t-test, it's a parametric test. The log rank test I briefly mentioned for survival data, it's just to say that's also appropriate if you've got three or more groups, it can cope and it will test the null hypothesis, but there's no difference between the groups, so if you've got time to event or survival data.